सब्सक्राइब कीजिए ईएसए क्लासेस चैनल को और बेल आइकन दबाइए हमारे लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए if if an object is thrown in upward direction is goes goes in upward direction at the maximum height velocity becomes zero and then ag again object returns back to returns back to same position then then time of time of ascent is equal to time of descent time required to go up is equal to time required to come down from that position so both times are same then velocity of velocity at each point is same while going upward as well as while going downward at this side if velocity while going upward is 20 meter per second then at this same point velocity while coming downward is also 20 meter per second velocity magnitude is same but direction is opposite if while going upward at this point velocity is 100 meter per second 100 meter per second then while coming downward at this point velocity is in downward direction direction is opposite but magnitude is exactly same 100 meter per second if air resistance is taken into contact if air resistance is not not taken into contact then time of ascent and time of descent same if air resistance is taken into account then time of ascent is less and time of descent is more time of ascent less less and time of descent more more if while going from this position to this position velocity changes from v1 to v2 and acceleration throughout the process is constant velocity changes from v1 to v2 and acceleration con acceleration is constant then average velocity for this for average velocity for this can be considered as v1 plus v2 by 2 average velocity is v1 plus v2 by 2 so if time of traveling is t from this point to this point if time required is t then distance traveled is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 into time so distance traveled is v1 plus v2 by 2 into time if part particle travels from this position to this position half distance is d and half distance is d if it travels half distance with velocity v1 and half distance with velocity v2 half distance with velocity v1 and half distance with velocity v2 then v average is equal to v1 v2 v average is equal to 2 v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2 to v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2 if if two objects of different masses two objects of different masses they are falling they are falling from the tower of height h two masses two objects of different masses are falling from the height h then if their initial velocity is same if their initial velocity is same then they reach ground at the same time they reach ground at the same time and with same speed and with same speed time required to descend is independent of mass it is independent of mass if a ball is dropped from height h then it takes time t to reach ground if a ball is dropped from height h then it takes time t to reach the ground if same ball is thrown in upward direction then it reaches ground in time t1 if same ball 
is thrown in downward direction with velocity v here velocity and in this case upward velocity given both velocities are same in this case ob object takes time t2 to reach ground then t is equal to root t1 t2 then t is equal to root t1 t2 